My name's Courtney Harris and I'm working in the School of Occupational Therapy and Social Work. I wanted to see how we could use e-learning activities to help support the learning outcomes of the unit. The three learning outcomes that we, we were concentrating on were um, the, the students' academic integrity skills, their understanding of what interprofessional education meant, and their experience of interprofessional education within a student team. What we did with these 1800 internal students is we actually split them up into groups of 50 and we had 50 in a class and we mixed them um, in terms of we had you know would only have a maximum of six say social workers or six physiotherapist students or six occupational therapy students so we had a mix of interprofessional backgrounds in each class and then we used e-learning activities so they included things such as illuminate. The illuminate for the external students it really did bring um, the students felt a lot more connected with the unit and with the tutors. We developed a wiki for some of the content. We obviously used Blackboard, online case studies through, um, they were called the Stillwell case studies and they were from uh, University of Cumbria and they basically were an online family of, with different health conditions so the students accessed those and they had lots of videos, uh, electronic records um, and information about real people um, for the students to look at in terms of the health conditions. Their access to Stillwell case studies, some of their assessments that they used were reported to be really helpful for them to um, meet those um, objectives, particularly to in relation to um, the quizzes on Blackboard. Um, those really helped with them develop their academic integrity skills. We um, used Vodcasts, so we uh, had little mini lectures basically taken. <laughs> E-learning activity that we used was iPortfolio as well. That was made um, quite a big part of our unit. Um, we taught them how to use iPortfolio. They set up iPortfolio. They invited their interprofessional team into their iPortfolio. They did work on their iPortfolio. We marked assessments from their iPortfolio, so they did actually use that quite a bit as well. As well as um, traditional methods like textbooks, and we also looked at our teaching methods. So what we did is we tried to embed all of these different um, activities, the traditional ones as well as the um, e-learning ones, into the curriculum. And we uh, surveyed the students at the beginning of semester to get, their, um, get an idea of their experience using different types of activities. And then we also surveyed them at the end of semester to see how did their exposure and use of these types of activities in the unit help them develop those three things. Obviously with the research that we, that we undertook um, through the eScholar grant, we um, obviously had some significant findings, which was fantastic. Traditional methods of working with interprofessional people in class within their student team came out to be one of the... Um, activities that they said was most useful to develop their understanding of working within an interprofessional team. Because it's so large with so many students, we do have to look to that electronic environment. So different types of e-learning activities, um, you know, really did make the, the unit interesting um, by using electronic type of um, devices. And, you know, we were also very lucky that we had iPads and computers and things in our classroom so we could support what we did in the classroom as well as um, what they could do from home. Um, so, you know, you do need, obviously, that infrastructure behind you if you're going to use different types of e-learning activities like that. The workshop type of environment is actually really um, a useful mode of teaching to be able to then use all of these different types of activities. And, you know, we then supplement it with podcasts and then we would pull in different types of, um, through the library links, different types of movies or, you know, if we needed further content. Technology is all around us. E-learning is all around us. Like, we can't ignore it. Fortunately, we've had lots of support from um, Office of Teaching and Learning to assist with the unit in that area. Yeah, we've um, we've had a good time in our unit for you know first year, you know first year foundations unit of what it means to be a health practitioner. So yeah, it's been good, and obviously all of these activities have really helped the students learn and grow. So which is the whole objective. Mm -hmm.